My advisor said when we came out here that he had never seen a Dalmatian toad flax population like this one. It is everywhere out here, so that makes it ideal for research. My project is on targeted grazing of two target species. Uh, the first is Dalmatian toad flax and of Larkspur, which is a native plant but poisonous to cattle, but it's not poisonous to sheep, so hence the use of sheep. Herbicide is kind of the standard for weed control uh, in our society, and so we wanted to be able to compare targeted grazing to herbicide, and that's what makes our project unique because a lot of projects don't compare the two the way we are. So I essentially have two different projects. One has herbicide plots, and the other has grazing plots. Dalmatian toad flax is really easy to tell because it's really pretty. It has snapdragon-like flowers. It's bright yellow. It flowers this time of year and earlier, um, throughout mo most of the summer, actually. Um, it has broad leaves that, are, that clasp the stem, and those leaves and stems are a little bit waxy. So the toad flax is just um, kind of a nasty weed. As you can see, it takes over a landscape for sure, and it's not very good forage. Uh, some of the studies I've looked at have seen a 60% reduction in good forage uh, when this uh, weed is present. So it's definitely something we don't want out here. Cattle eat about 75% grass. Uh, sheep eat about 33% grass, 33% forbs, which is basically anything that's not a grass and not a shrub, and about 33% shrubs. We actually collect data um, three times before and after the first grazing, a lot of biomass clipping and a lot of stuff in the herbicide plots because we're looking at peak biomass right now. And then we'll do the data collection also before and after my third grazing event in the, in the fall. And so um, we really want to be sure that once we get back to the office that's entered in and it's all kept together in one file so that we know exactly what we're looking at and we can track changes over time. So I think one of the big benefits of using an animal like sheep in targeted grazing is that you can ultimately turn this weed control technique into potentially um, a money-making uh, thing. So you can sell wool, you can sell animals. And so instead of spraying herbicide, which is costly, there is some chance of gain. The other benefit of using sheep in a situation like this is a lot of times toad flax is found on steep hillsides. Um, where it's a little more difficult to spray. And then of course, if you're using sheep, the weed is gone. The more you talk about this sort of thing, the easier it is for people to pick up that this type of research is going on. And I think it's really important that it get out there.